at this point, I would like you, uh, I would like to introduce to you um, a thought experiment proposed by uh, Hilbert, famous mathematician, and it it actually demonstrates how infinity, at least countable infinity, works uh, in, in a general sense. Now, consider a hypothetical hotel, and this hotel has countably infinite number of rooms and it's it's all occupied all rooms are occupied so this means the hotel is full now clearly in real life when the hotel is full if a if a if a customer arrives they have to turn him down right because there are no vacancies but this being a countably infinite hotel it works a little bit different now think about what happens when a new customer arrives. See, the hotel, the hotel is all occupied. But since this is an infinite hotel, for any number <clears throat> you give me, let's say I have numbered the rooms because it's countably infinite, I can uh, number them using natural numbers, right? So any natural number you give me, there is, uh, it's, uh, preceding number in still the set of natural numbers, right? The, the, the successor of that number is also a natural number. So for instance, if you, if you give me the number three, its successor is four in, in the natural numbers. If you give me 5,000, 5,001, its successor is still a natural number. If you give me 5 trillion, its successor is still a set of natural numbers. So any, any room you provide me, there is its successor. So what you do is you move each and every customer in the hotel to the successor room, okay? So zero goes to one, one goes to two, two goes to three, etc. All of them move one room up. So this is a function and it's a bijection, x plus one. But what it does is it clears room number zero. Now, room number zero is empty. It's available so you can accommodate the newly arriving customer. So th this is sometimes termed as Hilbert's paradox. It's not really a paradox because this has to do with, with the uh, nature of infinity because when you move everybody one up, they are still inside the hotel. And essentially, the reason is that any room you provide me, any number, let's say it's essentially a natural number, its successor is still in, in the set in this hotel. So room number zero is going to be vacant and now you can accommodate the newly arriving customer. Now, in fact, so you can generalize this. So let's say two customers arrive. 10 customers arrive, a million customers arrive. You can modify this function. X plus 1 million is going to give you 1 million new vacant rooms. So you can accommodate 1 million new customers. It's an infinite hotel, so you cannot run out of um, rooms in that way. As long as a finite number of customers arrive, you can accommodate them. Okay, so the next question is, what if an infinite number of customers arrive? Suppose that um, a hypothetical coach or a bus arrives with, let's say, countably infinite number of seats, all of which are occupied to your hotel as customers, okay? So your, your hotel is full with countably infinite number of customers and a number of um, countably infinite number of customers come demanding rooms. So what are you going to do? It, you, you cannot shift everyone one up because uh, the, the number of new arrivals is not finite. So you don't, you, you don't know where to stop. It doesn't work. So what you do is um, you move the person in room number zero, well, it is going to stay at zero, but you you move number one to room number two, 
room, uh, you move the customer at number two to number four, and three goes to six, four goes to eight. So essentially, your new function is 2x plus one. Well, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different than I described. So zero goes to one, and uh, one goes to where? Number three, and uh, two goes to uh, five, three goes to seven, etc. But the idea is the same. Now, essentially, um, you have made uh, half of your rooms, practically speaking, available. Okay, so room, num room number zero is now vacant, room number two is vacant, room number four is vacant, etc. Okay, so as we have just seen, set of events is also countably infinite. We know that. So zero, two, four, six, eight, etc. set of events. So even numbered rooms are now available and they are countably infinite. So there are as many available rooms as the arriving customers in, in this hypothetical bus. So you can accommodate them, okay? So it's not only finitely many new customers you can accommodate, you can also accommodate um, countably infinite number of new customers. In fact, you can also generalize this to higher order infinites. For instance, um, let's say, um, the, the hotel is, let's say, on, on a seashore and, and there, is a, there is a port nearby and um, a ferry arrives. And this ferry is again hypothetical and has the capacity of countably infinite buses. And each of these countably infinite uh, buses again has countably infinite seats all of which are occupied. So now to your hotel, which is, which has countably infinite rooms, but all of which are occupied, you have countably infinite buses, all of which have countably infinite people in them arrive as new customers. In this case, you can still accommodate them. As long as all of them are countably infinite, you can still accommodate this new level of infinity. So Hilbert's Grand Hotel gives um, an understanding of how uh, this works in a mathematical way. Of course, it's a thought experiment, it's not real, but you see it, it, it provides a way to maybe understand the, the mechanism of the bijections, how they work in infinite sets, especially in countably infinite sets because they, that's our definition. If you can come up with a bijection between a set A and set of natural numbers, then we call that, say, countably infinite. And count, countably infinite sets is, is not really a small category. You see, a huge uh, uh, concepts can be accommodated in, in, in this concept. So, uh, so for instance, that uh, infinitely many buses in, in, the, in the ferry, and all of the buses have infinitely many um, uh, seats in them, etc. So you can even add more levels to that. You can make infinitely many uh, ferries arriving at the port, etc. You will still be able to accommodate them uh, using a similar approach.